wives had any rights over their daughter-in-law? Does the, the parent-in-laws? Have any rights over their daughter-in-law? Yani, the, the mother and the father of the husband, correct? Um, Do they have rights over her? Without a doubt, they have rights over her. She is considered to be their daughter, as if she's their daughter. Not by blood directly. It's not actual daughter, but as if she's their daughter. As if she's daughter. So all of the rights that that woman's mother and father have over her, they have a miniature, smaller, uh, subsidized what? Version of those rights. Of respect, of honor, of service. La shak fi dhalika. Huh? Having good thoughts, good words, kindness. There's no doubt about that. And in what? A miniature form. Express. Hmm? Express. Not sitting and dining. It's very important to understand this. Okay? Because some of the, those parents or those in-laws, will they, they'll make it like what? Full-blown. You're my daughter. Listen to me. Obey me. Do this. No, 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 no. no. We said it's what? Express. Is what? Always? Express. The whole menu is not what? It's not there. Just what? Certain things on the menu are there. And there's no place to sit down. You take your food and you do what? You keep moving. Small things. Not the whole menu is there. So that's a mistake that many people make. She is not your blood daughter. Let alone the concept of culture. 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 When culture takes precedence over the sunnah and over the rulings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it's chaos. And that's how most of the Muslims live today, unfortunately. Whether it's urban culture, I used to be a Christian. My culture of jahiliyyah oftentimes comes before the sunnah. But it's not as bad. The haq. Yuqal, we say the truth, malish. Those revert Muslims is not as bad as someone who comes from a lineage of Muslims. It's a bit different. The revert in most cases is more willing to get rid of the practices of the family, of the streets, of this and that. In most cases. But the one who my mother, father, grandfather, great grandfather, he was a warrior, he was a scholar, he was this, is hard to get away from the culture. Very, very hard. And oftentimes the family members, they'll mention the culture before the deen and the prophet city. You do something bad, a man tries to talk to another man's wife, or, or, or if she's in a restaurant, he's flirting with someone's wife. Aib, aib alik. Aib alik, wallah. Say aib. But they don't say haram. They don't say qala rasulullah, qala Allah kala. They don't say that. They say what? Aib. Culturally, bad for you to flirt with another man's wife, which it is. But the deen comes what? Comes first. Even if the culture is based off of the deen. Even if the culture is what? Based off of the deen, you should remind them of who? Allah Azza wa Jal. So that's my yani, view on that. Yani, um, what's important is in some cultures, the, the in-laws may, the daughter may have to scrub their feet and scrub the bathroom with a toothbrush. That's not the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Wallahu alam.